Hello, Lola. So this is another voiceover. So hopefully I don't do, you know, <laughs> like the last voiceover. But um, if you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe, click the bell, click like, leave me a comment. I love you guys' comments. I may not always get a chance to reply to every single comment, but I do read each and every one of them. And if it's something that I feel like I should answer in another video, I'll try to do that as well. But I just wanted to um, show Piper, get her dress. Piper is half pint by Marina Winters. She's 15 inches. She's painted and partially rooted by me. Um, I have not really finished rooting her. Um, but she is my little preemie. She's supposed to be like micro preemie, but she still fits in preemie stuff a little bit. So I had this little outfit that I thought would work for her, but wasn't really sure like if it would fit for her. But you'll see in the video that it does actually start to work for her. I mean, actually work for her. Um, she has like a hazel color eyes um, or a light brown eye color um, in person. They don't never really show up fully on camera. She has a very, I painted her to have a very um, creamy look to her too with the discoloration a little bit. In her skin coloring so yeah it's like preemies and newborns are like my favorite babies to paint to be honest this is like so much you can do with them like you can like they can have so much like bruising and blemishes and all that stuff and I love that stuff um, I don't know about you guys I know some people prefer more of a peaches and cream baby and I like those too don't get me wrong I think sometimes peaches and cream babies are just just as beautiful um, especially if the skin tone is popping or it's very realistic, I should say, then I feel like it doesn't. Sometimes some babies, less is more, if that makes sense. But yeah, so when I picked her up, it really looked like she just moved weird. But um, she actually is very cuddly and she flops really nice. Um, she has a good weight to her. She's not like a brick but she for her size she has really good weight to her and I I do enjoy actually holding her which is kind of odd because you don't think you're going to enjoy the top the smaller babies like that but yeah um I I rarely take off her tummy plate um but yeah um but sometime I will but she doesn't really need it it doesn't really make her too stiff but if I take that tummy plate off, she's even definitely more floppy and it's really nice. I I don't know. Um, I never thought that I would like like the small, small preemies, but it's something magical about them. So I think all these babies, to be honest, all these babies kind of have a place. Like it's like you can connect with any baby if it's the baby for you. Like. I've seen so many collectors be like so set on including myself never doing this or never getting this in. My favorite baby is this, but you know, it's always an exception to the rule. And that's what makes this hobby so freaking addicting. Like we get so addicted to, you know, <laughs> collecting a different baby, just having a new style, you know, even just with different artists. Like at one point I used to just want to just, see all these different artists work. This was before I was painting. I I have bought from over maybe 50 art, different artists in my time of collecting. I have bought over 200 babies in my time of collecting. And um, that's not exaggerating the number. That's honest. I'm being honest. I counted at one point. I stopped counting um, a couple years back. But and, you know, that's over years, like years of time. And, you know, of course, price, different price ranges. So it wasn't all like super expensive and it wasn't all super, super um, low in cost. Um, I don't want to get into the dollar amount because that would be just crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't even want to, I don't even want to talk about that. I did that one. I told you guys, I did that one time with what I spent um just with silicone babies alone it's it's ridiculous it's like 
when you think about it, it's like, oh my God, you could buy a house type thing. Now, I don't know why I'm a little slow, but I didn't. I should have had clipped those tags and stuff off that baby before I actually started putting on stuff. And then on top of it, I still had the nerd of how the hat still dangling on. Like, poor baby. Mama just unfit. Oh, I'm so sweet, though. I actually love her in that yellow. I really do. I like it, really complements her skin tone. I think I'm going to have to hold her. So, anyway. Um, <laughs> but. Like I said, <clears throat> sorry, um, I really, 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 really didn't think she was going to be able to fit that, but she, she really can fit it, and it actually looks really, really cute on her. These little outfits um, came from Walmart, and um, I was really excited to see the Winnie the Pooh, and um, they have Mickey stuff. And I'm just so, so, like I said, really, really super excited about the prints. I love Winnie the Pooh. I love Mickey. Um, mostly Winnie the Pooh. I really, really love it. Um, but, yeah, so I'm mad that they didn't have that. I bought almost all that they had left, but they didn't have many left in my store. I want to go to Target or somewhere and see what they got, but I just haven't had a chance to go into Target. Like, the Target is so far away from me it's like i have to really really take a field trip to go to the target for me but isn't she so cute like i don't know it's just something about the little babies they just they really really like gets me um but yeah so i really quick before i end this video because i'm doing a voiceover this video was super long and I've been like focusing on stuff that I said I wasn't going to get back into where I'm giving my opinion and all this stuff. I don't want to do that a whole lot. So I want to lighten up the videos a little bit more because I don't want to get back into that where I'm like sounding preachy like a lot of the other um, YouTubers and stuff like that. Not like I'm not talking about nobody specific, just saying I don't want to be Miss Know It All or anything. But, um, what was I going to say? Yeah. So, I am almost done. I'll be done, like, in the next two days with one of my customs. I have, um, two more. That's, um, one that had, well, it's just going to be arriving. And then, um, another one. And that will be it. I don't think, one is not due this year. It's not due until like January, but depends on how that baby takes its form and takes its color and get where it needs to be. It might be done by the end of the year, but I will share those babies before they go home to their mommies. Um, I prefer not to show or share or discuss them too much in detail beforehand. So um, look forward to that. Also, guys, um, next year I am considering doing a few painted baby slots um, just, you know, periodically. I'm not going to give a time frame. Um, and I'm asking, please, 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 if you guys will allow me to just post when I can do those for the most part. Like, um, I, I don't want to um, be... Like, I'm not going to take a baby under pressure, like, or, like, I have my babies that I like to work on for my personal collection, and I also have my babies that I like to work on, um, just for, um, you know, to sell, and so I, I want to do that, but I figure I might be able to put, like, you know, take a slot in between where I only have, like, work on one custom at a time along with my other babies, that I'm working on um but silicone is not going to be one of them I'm sorry I really really actually think I did take one silicone um baby on and mainly because I wanted to paint the, the sculpt I really really wanted to paint the sculpt um so that's the only reason to be honest that I took it because I don't want to take a silicone 
um, as a custom or private order. I don't even really want to sell silicone, to be honest. I really just want to paint silicone for myself. But I, I know that I will paint some, and then if I don't decide to keep them for myself, I will put them up for sale. I will have two for sale um, this year, before this year is out, hopefully, which is um, a micro preemie and a preemie. And um, I'll have all pricing information and everything available as soon as they're done rooting. Um, Jasper will be um, available hopefully next week, by the end of next week, to go home. Um, and then Grumpy, I'm not sure. Grumpy is actually um, the bigger preemie. And I'm not sure when she'll be done because I, I, I still have to root her as well but um yeah so I kind of got an idea of how much they will be but I don't have the exact price um so if you're interested in either one of those babies just hang tight they're coming um and I'll probably try to sell them you know as quicker sales just because I haven't sold babies in a little while now because I've been too busy, like, buying and haven't been really painting and stuff. So I want to, I need to, you know, do some buy it now, babies. And I don't particularly like lay away a whole lot. So there's that. But we will, I will give more details about available spots coming next year. I probably won't have one until like February of next year, February or March. Um, but I am considering that. Now, keep in mind with my reborns, um, depending on um, the time frame, which I'll be able to, I'll be able to let you guys know if I'm going to be able to avail, oh, offer one with rooted hair or just painted ball baby. So I'll let you guys know what each slot, custom or private order, semi custom. Um, orders I have slots I have available at that time um but like I said it won't be that many it'll be very few and far in between because I don't I don't do well, do well with customs like if it's a lot of them but I found that this time I've been really really enjoying doing my customs with my customers and it's just been really really fun and I've been really really enjoying it like it's really been enjoyable and it's I don't know, it's just been working for me because I've, like, for the longest I've been working on just this one along with my other babies. And not the longest because I haven't had it that long, but, you know. And then um, I also work a little bit faster, too, when I only have, like, that one plus my other babies. And then I am actually picking up the other kid um, within the next day or two. So... By the time I pick that one up, the other baby will be just only thing you'll be doing is waiting on hair. And so, yeah, so it's kind of been, it's it's been flowing nicer. Um, and I find sometimes, I know people don't like that because they're like, what about new people that never own one of your babies that want the opportunity? I feel like for them type, when you're a new customer, I feel like a buy it now baby should be first, maybe your first option. So that way you even know if you like my work before you even decide you know, on custom. Um, it's easier also when I work with people that is familiar with my paint style in person so that they are like a little less tense and more comfortable. Because me as a collector, when I've never had an artist work and I get a custom from them, I'd be a little on edge. Or if i never seen their work in person, I should say, I'd be a little on edge. And I am a little bit more antsy then versus once I already know kind of somewhat what to expect. Um, I'm still a little impatient and antsy, but not as much. I don't even like doing customs myself because I drive myself crazy. So um, anyway, but that's that. So I, that is something that's coming up for next year for Reborns. Um, so I hope that it goes well. I'm going to take it a little bit at a time, you know, and play it by ear. And so... Because I, I want to always be able to enjoy my hobby and not make it feel like just work. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Piper. She is one of my personal babies that will...
probably be in my collection forever. And um, yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.